No, no, I mean, I, I want to thank uh, Commissioner Regalado and Ellen Pumariaga actually for, for getting on for today. Um, I thought it was important to join this, maybe three of the most powerful, I'm not even going to say women, people in Miami-Dade County. It happens, it, they just happen to be women, but thank you very much for being involved and talking about saving for our children's uh, future um, through the Florida Prepaid College Savings Plan. So thank you very much. I, I know that it's something that I invested in. Um, and I know how important it is, whether they go to Florida colleges or not. And so from my perspective, it's, it's a great way to say it. But more than anything, um, Raquel, Madeline, and of course you, Lily, you're, you're, you're icons. And so thank you very much for, for doing this for, uh, for our membership. And with that, I, I give it to you, Lily. And Roland, thank you so much, my chairman of the board. You know, I let him rest every once in a while because those who know me know I'm very intense. So every time I need something with Roland, yeah. We need to see each other. It's time. It's time to catch up and this and that. And then I send him a text. He knows I text and I text. I like I say to everybody, I text as much as I talk. And I write it's like <laughs> but my messages are like eventually people say, okay, let me just call her. Okay. So anyway, welcome. And so it's so honored and privileged to have um my dear friend of so many, many years, Commissioner Regalado, who is a school board member, and Madeline Pumariega, who I'm, I know I've met in, in previous years, but still not had the honor to really be one-on-one. -on -one. I'm looking forward to, to doing that and meeting with you personally to see how we can further collaborate and, and work together. But uh, today I'm the panel moderator, believe it or not, usually it's Roland or Felipe Basulto, but today's my turn. And I wanted to bring you this discussion because college savings, as we all know, is something that so many families want to do, but it can be hard to know where to start. It can also be very hard when you have a young child and really to envision how saving early can have a tangible impact so many years down the road. And of course the pandemic has made the world seem uncertain on many levels. Yeah, we wanna think about a brighter future for our children. I, for one, we bought the Florida prepaid for our daughter who's already 20 and it really made, made such a difference because of, of the cost. For the business community, this is especially important because we always want, we have to be thinking years down the road to the talent, to the talent that we will be needing for our businesses. And for as a chamber of commerce, for me, um, this, is, this is major. That is one of the reasons we at the Chamber love partnering with Florida Prepaid. We have been partnering with them for many years and we really have aligned missions of helping businesses and our community succeed. And it starts with educating the next generation of employees and entrepreneurs. So today we're talking to two local leaders who understand the issue very, very well. We have President Madeline Pumariega of Miami-Dade College, a longtime former board member for Florida Prepaid. She previously served as chancellor overseeing all 28 Florida state colleges. Well, and also let take stock in children for many years so she understands how important it is to provide affordable ways for children to attend college. And also joining us is the incredible Raquel Regalado, Miami Dade, I call her Raquelita, Miami Dade County Commission and former school board member here in our county. Since 2008, she has hosted several radio and television programs in Spanish, which I have been a guest many times. I appreciate that. I, every time I need to go to radio, call her Raquelita, radio. So she focuses on informing listeners about local politics, public housing, immigration, and social services. She's one of the most active politicians that we have. That is a fact, I know that. And uh, she, uh, she has a daily program on La Poderosa, 670 AM, Esta Semana con Raquel, a weekly TV show. I know she also does ra uh, Radio Caracol. So we're going to address some of the basics of how Florida prepaid plans work. We're discussing with Madeline and Raquelita the impact of saving for college starting early and how this can benefit families here in South Florida. Madeline and Raquelita, thank you so, so very much for being here. So sure. let's go right into the topic. I'll start by just outlining a few of the basics about Florida prepaid, how that plan works. With prepaid plans, you simply choose the plan that fits your savings goals, make your payments, and when you're done, you know your child's college tuition is covered. There's no need to worry about the ups and downs of the stock market or how much college costs, co costs go up in the future. That's on prepaid to manage. And Florida prepaid plans are guaranteed by the state of Florida, so families can never lose their investment. They really provide parents with a great peace of mind. The open enrollment, uh, enrollment window runs through April 30th, so please take a note of that. And plans start as low as $45 a month. And any family that enrolls with our code SFHCC2021, again, SFHCC2021, will save $25 off the application fee. Florida Prepaid has been helping families save for college for over 30 years, and more than a million families have purchased plans. Nearly half a million have already attended college using them. So that is a pretty strong track record. So Madeline, you first. You've been a champion for Florida Prepaid for so long. 
Tell us why you feel so passionately about the program and the need to save early. A couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it very visionary what Stanley Tate thought about um, when the Florida prepaid programs were established in Florida. Um, it was for, to help families plan and save for college, uh, be intentional about doing that. And it's then helped hundreds of thousands of families be able to pay uh, for college for not only their children, but now we see grandparents uh, buying it for their grandchildren. And in an essence, it, what it does is really hold that tuition cost for families when they buy that prepaid program. And we know that um, while a four-year university pathway is not for every student, we need students after high school to earn those important workforce credentials. That helps our economy, that helps our businesses. And you know, the Florida prepaid plans help family make those um, savings happen for their children uh, to attend college, and especially at one of our 28 uh, colleges or 12 outstanding universities in Florida. Mm, and Raquelita, you have two, you, I know you have two beautiful children. What has been your approach to college savings? Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm divorced, so Florida, Florida prepaid is actually an opportunity for people who get divorced to kind of take it out of uh, sort of subjectively what you're going to do as, as a couple and kind of decide uh, early on when, when children are, are little and ensure that everybody does their part. Um, I think one of the things, you know, Ma Madeline mentioned a few points uh, that are important. In, in terms of Stanley Tate's vision and giving parents the tools to save, right? Because a lot of parents just don't know where to start. They all wanna save for college. They just don't know how to do that. And this gives them, like you mentioned, different options within their budget. Uh, but beyond that, I think it's wonderful that it creates for children the expectation that they're going to college. So from a very early age, you can talk to them about how you're saving for their college and how you expect them to go to college. And whether that is a two-year, a four-year, or vocational, it really starts a conversation about lifelong learning. And I think that's sort of what's changed in our generation. Uh, you know, the three of us that are there on here, we're, we're all, you know, from the same generation. And when our parents uh, were raising us, it was a struggle, you know, and I paid for my own college. Uh, but paying for your own college limits your options. Uh, and that's something that I think our generation wants to give that as a gift to our children, to give them as many opportunities as possible so that when they're choosing jobs and when they're making uh, decisions about if to move forward or if to do something else, they have that flexibility because they know that that's paid for and they can make those options without worrying about the financial burden. Mm. And Madeline, I, you served on the board of a prepaid. So can you outline a few examples of how these plans are guaranteed and, and the flexibility? Sure, I had the honor to serve on the Florida Prepaid Board. I serve on the Florida Prepaid Foundation Board. And the Foundation Board actually invests millions of dollars um, to help students that might be in low um, in programs like Take Stock and Children and other mentoring programs um, have access to college scholarships. But for the Florida Prepaid plans, basically Florida Prepaid Board invest the funds that you save for your children's education. And by investing those, they in a sense guarantee that when your child goes to college, that the what you've invested and what you've paid will be sufficient to cover their tuition at one of our Florida colleges and universities. And if you think about it, Florida has been um, fantastic in holding tuition cost for Florida's families. Uh, we haven't seen tuition uh, been raised in Florida probably in the last um, eight years. And that really is helpful to families because what it does is made college affordable. So that combined with a Florida prepaid plan, the smart investment um, that Florida prepaid team manages uh, really puts Florida in line to be number one in workforce to ensure that we have the talent for economic success and that families have uh, college that's affordable and don't have to get in debt uh, to be able to send their children to college. And um, uh, Raquel, you served many years on the school board. I remember that very clearly. You did a fantastic job. So, you know, parents can send such a powerful message to their children that they believe in them and their education. So talk about the expectation families can set just by 
just by saving for college, you know, what can they say to their children? It's, it's enormous. And, and listen, we, we know it. Uh, we know that the earlier that parents have this conversation with children, that if children know that their parents are making an effort uh, for them to go to college, that they're thinking of their future and that this is the path that they would like them to follow, it has a tremendous impact. You know, I don't think any of us here, you know, ever wondered if we were going to college. We were going to college. It was just a matter of what we were studying when we got there, you know? Uh, we weren't given a choice. I think early on, you know, you were either a doctor or a lawyer, right? Those were your, your two right, options. Engineer, maybe, right? engineer doctor, exactly. lawyer. <laughs> maybe you were able to veer from that. But for the most part, you know, you, you knew from a very, very early age. And, and look, Madeline spoke to the fact that tuition, you know, has remained constant, but that is under fire every year in Tallahassee. It was under fire this year in Tallahassee. Uh, and Madeline uh, is up there, you know, fighting, fighting the good fight. But it's not something that we can say that for sure we're going to have uh, for the next 5, 10, 15 years. The same is true for Bright Futures. A lot of parents mistakenly think that Bright Futures is the golden ticket. This year, there was legislation to change Bright Futures. Bright Futures is wonderful, you know, and, and some of us are lucky to have scholarships. I was uh, blessed uh, to go to the Miami-Dade Honors Program, uh, and it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity, but it's a two-year opportunity. Um, and one of the things that I think we have to mention when we talk about expectations uh, and what parents can teach their children in the early years specifically, and definitely when they're teenagers, is that we no longer have a four-year degree is enough, right? So now for those that want to go past, you know, that two-year vocational into the four-year, we're looking at more and more, we're doing professional schooling beyond that. We're going to the graduate programs, we're going to law school, we're going to med school. So if you haven't saved for that first piece, at least, and ideally for more, it really is a large six-digit burden, right? That your children are gonna have to carry if they want to enter these professions. Absolutely. And Madeline, I know your daughter's getting close to college age. What's your perspective about college savings now that you're seeing those college costs and expenses looming in? Well, um, like many families in Florida, I um, had a, bought a prepaid uh, for my daughter. So uh, she'll uh, go to college in Florida, hopefully on a, on a Florida prepaid scholarship. And uh, so many of my nieces and nephews um, the same, my cousins, all of them, I've seen them, you know, uh, go through college because all of us as cousins, like Raquel was saying, it really takes the planning out of college and makes it simple. Someone talks to someone else and all of my cousins, I saw them buying the prepaid plans. And so, of course, when Alyssa was born many years ago, I uh, did as well. She's 20, a little bit older than yours, but it was um, only $8,000 at the time. And people don't realize it. People say, oh, at that time, we probably said, oh, wow, expensive. But then if you think about it, and with rising cost of education, now nowadays you look back and say, oh, my God, it was nothing, right? It was nothing. We paid nothing. So it's, a, it's such an amazing program. Uh, so, Raquelita, back to you. So many businesses have suffered tremendously this year, but investing in employees is still so important for company success. How can business businesses use college savings incentives for employees as a tool for retention and for boosting morale? Well, I mean, I think it's a wonderful um, opportunity for businesses to really show their employees that they're, they're more than just a, a temporary piece of this, right? Especially for businesses that are spending time and money training their employees. This is the type of investment that really provides longevity and support. Look, I mean, we haven't mentioned it, but here's, here's the reality. There's never a good time. You know, there's never like a moment where you have an extra few thousand dollars just to start something, right? It, there, it, normally, when people make these decisions, uh, there's a lot of things going on, and there's a, there's always something that you can spend money on. And children get more expensive as they get older, right? Uh, so that's why I think all of us started very young uh, before we had to deal with that. But the, the reality is that from an employer perspective, to really invest in that employee and to say, look, I care about your family's growth, and I want to take away one more thing that you would be worrying about. Uh, by helping you with this. Uh, and sometimes, like Madeline was saying, people just need that little push. You know, they need someone to help them get it started. And then it just becomes part of their routine. It becomes money that they never see. Uh, and it just goes growing and growing and growing. And then before you know it, you blink 
uh, and your kids are applying to college. And just like you were saying, Lily, you say, oh my God, I'm so glad I made this choice. Uh, especially if you had an employer that helped you because you're so glad that someone cared enough about you as a parent and as an employee to help you down this road so that you can provide this opportunity for your children. And Madeline, the pandemic has really changed everything so much and the college experience for students as well. So virtual classes, classes, masks on campus, curfews, but Florida prepaid recently surveyed parents and more than 90% say college is just as important or more important than ever in the wake of COVID-19. Why do you think that sentiment is there? No, it's a great question, Lily. When we think about the last economic recession that we had in 2009, the country recovered 11.6 million jobs. Those 11 point, of those 11.6, 11.3 million went to individuals with some college. So I think parents know that education is that, that door that opens the opportunity, um, not just the opportunity to advance in your career, but earn that to be able to get that job and earn those skills. And so I think that's why families today are still um, focused on college. And, and again, as, you know, as Raquel says, the commissioner said, you know, bright futures gets, gets um, sometimes um, in the legislature changed up. And it's important to know that if you have a Florida prepaid plan and your child is also eligible for bright futures, you can use them in tandem. It isn't that one replaces another. So it adds just another, um, you know, um, another set of resources for parents that um, I know are thinking about sending their kids to college and know the importance of a credential beyond high school uh, to be economically competitive and sustainable. Thank you so much. And before we conclude, I'd like to open the floor back up for any last words. Um, so Madeline, what's the num number one piece of advice you would give new parents thinking about college savings? Buy a prepaid plan. Um, just like you go on the website and uh, you add uh, health insurance for your child, um, it is very affordable, especially if you start early. Um, it's just making really a, a small investment that's gonna pay off tremendous, uh, tremendously for your family and for your child. I think another set of advice is just creating that college going culture, uh, talking about college and careers with your children. And again, it doesn't mean that it's not, that everybody has to have a university traditional pathway. You can do um, a college credit certificate. You can do career technical education. The plans cover those programs as well. You can do an associate in science and nursing. It covers it or your traditional associates of arts and then one to headed to our universities. And if they choose to go out of state, the plans also um, can be leveraged. They won't be lost. Um, I think it's taking that first step and investing. Um, as my mom would always say, education is something that no one can take away from you. And I think it's the greatest gift that we can give our children. So, in addition to a lot of love and hugs, yes. but education. Exactly, exactly. education and love. And Raquelita, what's your message to businesses? Well, to, to follow up on, on what, yeah, to follow up on what Madeline was saying, look, you know, one of the things about our Hispanic culture is that we have these tribe-like families, right? Madeline is from one of them, and so, so is Roly. Everyone participates. And, and that's another opportunity for Florida Prepaid for a lot of parents that are watching. That's something that they can talk to their parents, their grandparents, their family members about. This is something that you can do as a family. It's not something that you have to do on your own. How many times has someone called you and asked you what your kid wants, you know, for their birthday or for this or for that? This is something that you can kind of bring people in on uh, and you could do it as a family and really provide this safety net and this opportunity. Um, and, and I would be remiss, you know, I think it's also important when Madeline was talking about the culture, you know, for my son, you know, he loves the U. Uh, so he had, when he was like 10, you know, we had UM sheets and UM decor and he's grown up, you know, uh, a UM fan uh, preparing to go to the University of Miami. Sorry, Madeline, he's going to Miami Dade first, I promise. Uh, but he's going to the U after. 
Uh, and, and you can start that at a very early age, especially with boys and sports. It's such a tremendous opportunity uh, to make them think about college and get excited about college and get them thinking, right, about why what they're doing is important and how it can impact their lives. And finally, as, as you guys know, I have two children in the spectrum. And one of the things that, that worries me is that a lot of parents of children with disabilities don't make plans for college because they don't think that college is an option for their kids. That is not the case. Uh, we need to do more uh, and, and we're all working on that, uh, more opportunities for our children, but there is programming, there are opportunities. The world does not have to end at 22, especially for the higher functioning children, but even for the mid-functioning one. Madeline was talking about vocational programming. You know, that's the road that my daughter has chosen. Uh, and there's wonderful opportunities at our colleges for that. So don't think that because you have a child that has a particular disability, whether it's any form of neurodivergence, right, from autism to ADD to ADHD to Downs, that doesn't mean that they can't have this opportunity for higher learning. It just means that that opportunity is going to look a little bit different and that as a parent, you know, even more reason for you to make this commitment and save because, you know, in case things change, you have more options. And I think Roland was going to say something. Roland? Well, no, I mean, I, I just wanted to thank the Commissioner Regalado and, and Madeline. Uh, I think, you know, frankly, their insight, as you would expect from someone, some people that are so knowledgeable about this area, is, um, you know, frankly, what every parent needs to know. And, and if they, they didn't know, they heard it today. So thank you very much. Thank you even both very, very much. And by the way, we're so proud of both of you and what you've done. And with that, I'll, 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 I'll let you, I'll let you uh, take it home, Lily. Thank, thank you, ladies. Yes, thank you so much, Roland, for your valuable time. And if we didn't address your specific question during today's roundtable, please feel free to reach out to Florida Prepaid at info at myfloridaprepaid.com. And I'll repeat it again, info at myfloridaprepaid.com. And we'll try to answer as many of your questions. And uh, thank you all for joining us. If did any any last words of wisdom from Commissioner Regalado, Madeline? Oh, I love President slash Chancellor Madeline Pumariega. She's amazing. Uh, so <laughs> I'm honored to be on here with her. She's doing such an amazing job at Miami Dade. We're super super excited. Uh, very honored to be to be an alum, and always a pleasure to, to be with you guys. <laughs> And just, um, I would just say, just like the commissioner saying, she's doing amazing work. Miami, there's so much to be excited about right now in Miami, and especially about getting the talent that the businesses need to grow. And we're all part of the solution. Um, and planning for college is that first step and, and that we can make a difference together and make our Miami even better. Agree. Absolutely. And for our uh, for our attendees, we hope this has been helpful as you explore college saving options for yourself and maybe for your business employees and your family members. And uh, again, I know there's some people asking questions, so we really want you to go to info at myfloridaprepaid.com. Info at myfloridaprepaid.com. And they will answer all of your questions. And we thank you again for your time. And thank you for participating with us, Madeline Pumariega. I had offered to you and also Commissioner Regalada, Raguelito, what can I say about you, Raguelita? You're a dear friend. So, so many years. <laughs> Dad, we love you. And my chairman of the board, what's up with me? Other than that, <laughs> I'm not easy. So thank you. And everybody who attended uh, and is here, logged on, thank you for your time. And I hope this was uh, valuable to you. And I, I'm sure it was. And uh, for all your families. Thank you again. And